latest video we're unboxing and have hands on on Poco's most affordable yet feature packed smartphone on the lineup, the Poco M3. Could this be a majority choice for the budget conscious or is it just meh? We'll find out more of it coming right up. Hey guys, James here, and this is Tech MNO. Poco was well known to be one of the disruptors in the smartphone industry with phones that have powerful and high level specifications and a more aggressive and competitive price point. Now, the brand released another phone that shocked the world once more with features often seen on upper mid range phones in a more budget category, and this is the Poco M3. Before we move on to the design specifications, if you enjoy this video right now, click that like button and subscribe now to our YouTube channel. And we still have an ongoing giveaway that you can check in the video description below. And follow our social media accounts as well like Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram at TechMNO. The Poco M3's back design and frame is plastic all throughout, but Poco made it more premium thanks to its leather-like finish. It's grippy enough to hold though there's a glossy area where the triple cameras with the 48 megapixel main camera, a macro and a depth sensor plus a Poco logo that houses here are a fingerprint magnet. So keep that in mind. And also use the included case or buy a more sturdy one if you prefer. The 6.53 inch IPS LCD screen on the front is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and supports 400 nits brightness and a 60 hz Full HD Plus panel which is almost bright in my short time using it. It also has a dot drop notch that houses the 8 megapixel selfie camera. On the right side of the device is the volume rocker and a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner too. While on the left side is a SIM tray for two SIM cards and a dedicated micro SD card that's expandable up to 512 gigs. On the bottom part is a speaker grill, USB-C port, and a microphone pole. While on the top part is a headphone jack, an ear blaster, and you're right, another speaker grill because it supports stereo audio for more immersive audio experience when you watch movies on Netflix or play games. In a short period of time using it, it's loud enough that you can really enjoy watching or playing here at the same time. But we'll see in the full review if it's really good enough. Powering the Poco M3 is the Snapdragon 662 octa-core processor with 4GB of RAM with either 64 or what I have here, 128 gigs of onboard storage. While on the software side, the M3 runs on MIUI 12 on top of Android 10. Quite bummed out that this phone is not on Android 11 though, but hopefully they upgrade it very very soon. General swiping and scrolling on my test is pretty typical in a smartphone, not a brand new here. But when I had some time to play some games like the King of Fighters All-Star, it's showing some hiccups and stutters here and there. We'll test this phone with more games including heavy ones like Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9. And lastly, powering up the phone is a beastly size 6000 mAh battery in a phone that only weighs a bit shy of 200 grams. But that thing is thanks to its plastic build. While top ups with battery is quite fast with an 18 watt charging, though the bundle charger is a 22.5 watt adapter though. This could be a spare adapter in Xiaomi's inventory that's been repurposed. Still a good thing though. 
<coughs> Apple, <coughs> Samsung. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. At the moment, I still have one recharge cycle, but I will put this phone through its paces and check the battery performance of it just for you. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for is the price. The Poco Air 3 starts at 6,990 pesos for the 64 gig variant, and the 128 gig one, on the other hand, is priced at 7,990. At this price range, you can say that it's really competitive to other brands, including their parent company sub brand, Redmi 9T, which also has some similarities to it. But we will save the overall judgment at the full review coming real soon. So, stay tuned for that. And for more videos like this, check out my Firefine K670B microphone right up here, or my other review videos in the playlist below here. Again, my name is James, and I will see you on the next one.